In a city guarded by aliens, a girl sent radio waves around the world. A black-haired boy appears running in a hurry to reach the transport that will take him to his new destination. This is our protagonist, who is called Nuwa Makoto. This boy manages to stamp his ticket and gets on the transport. While riding it, he thinks about how things will be now and about his new roommates. When he arrives at the station, he begins to walk among the people looking for the person who will guide him. Then a girl recognizes him and calls him excitedly with a sign in her hand. She introduces herself as Tua Meme, who is Makoto's aunt. Meme takes the boy to a cab and they get in. While they go there, they talk about many things and how their new lifestyle will be in their new school. When they arrive at the house, Meme shows Makoto everything. When he comes to the side, he sees a girl on the floor wrapped in a mat who seems to be asleep. She goes to her new room and unpacks her things. After that, the three of them sit down at the table to eat together a dish that Meme has prepared. The other girl is still wrapped up in the mat and Meme introduces her as Tua Ario, his daughter. They all start talking and suddenly Ario loses her balance because she is so wrapped up and falls. Meme pays no attention to her and continues talking to Makoto. Ario starts kicking and picks up a chair that falls on the table, ruining the food. Meme gets very upset and picks her up by her feet, throwing her away from there. The next day, Makoto gets up and starts to get ready to go to school. When trying to leave, he bumps into Ario, who is still wrapped in the mat. He leaves the house and arrives at a warehouse from where he gets an old bicycle. His aunt has given him a map, so he rides the bicycle using the map until he manages to get to school. When he gets to his class, he introduces himself to his new classmates. Then as the day goes on, he notices his cute classmates until the school day is over. When he arrives home, he sees that only his cousin Ario is there, who is in front of the TV that is without signal, and she is still rolled up on the mattress. Makoto sits next to her and starts talking to her, but does not manage to talk much. Then a pizza that they ordered arrives, and when they receive it, Ario gets very excited and grabs it without taking off the mattress, eats half of the pizza. Makoto is a little surprised, and then she gives him the other half. Meme calls and tells him that she still won't arrive, so Makoto decides to cook something. Then he decides to go out to buy something on the bike, and Ario accompanies him. The girl still refuses to take off the mattress, so she goes in the bicycle basket with Makoto. On the way, Makoto admires the brightly lit city that is not far away. Then they arrive at the store and the girl asks Makoto for help to get off since she got stuck. He pulls her out between his arms and the mattress falls off. Ario is exposed to her beauty and tells Makoto she already trusts him, so he reveals she is an alien sent on a mission. Makoto and Ario meet in a kind of small park that is alone at night. While they eat, the girl explains all the plans and experiments that the aliens have with humans, but Makoto eats and listens to her with disbelief. The next day, Makoto goes to class, and the class is a bit boring. At the end of the day, Makoto goes to the school parking lot to get his bike, and a girl appears, grabs a bike next to him, and introduces herself as Ryuko. They begin to talk, and the girl offers to ride off together since they are going the same way. She also tells him that they will race, so they leave there quickly. When the sun begins to set, they arrive at a part of the city, have a few and after talking a little, they say goodbye and go home. When Makoto arrives, he sees Ario again with the mat, and she tells him that he has to fulfill an alien mission, which makes Makoto a little frustrated. The next day, Makoto is in the classroom alone with a short-haired classmate. She starts talking to him, and they have a little chat. Later, Ryuko greets Makoto and invites him to have lunch together since they are there. Makoto comes out of the school and meets the short-haired girl who calls him new. They start walking in the sports ground. The girl tells him some things about her life, like why she didn't continue on the sports team and other things. Then they arrive at the parking lot and ride their bikes home together, which makes Makoto very happy since it's his second day going home with a different girl. When he arrives, he sees Ario on the mattress again. They plan to go out somewhere, so Makoto takes the mattress off her and wipes her face with some towels, and she rolls back on the mat. They leave there on the bike just like before, and Irio guides Makoto to the place where she should go by pointing out with her feet that the mattress doesn't cover. After a while driving, they arrive at a beach. Makoto marvels and starts walking on the sand. Suddenly, she realizes that Irio threw herself into the water, so she gets scared and pulls her out since the mattress can see her. When they leave there, they meet the short-haired girl in disguise, and she is surprised to hear that they are cousins and mentions that Irio has once missing for a year and a half, and when she showed up, she came very weird about aliens and stuff. When they finish talking, Makoto leaves with Ario to go home. When they arrive, Makoto starts asking her aunt about what happened and she starts telling her about Ario's disappearance and her weird behavior since she arrived. She also mentions that the girl doesn't remember anything that happened during the year and a half she was missing. Makoto is in his room now trying to read and listen to music, but next to him is Ario who annoys him and won't let him. Makoto continues to attend school normally and shares time with his friend Ryuko and the short-haired girl he calls Mekawa. On several occasions, he goes out with Ario to the beach and on the way back, he meets Makoa. They talk about the weirdness of Ario's aliens. The next day, Makoto agrees with Ryuko to go out after school, and so they do. The girl takes Makoto to see several places and even eats and drinks. They spend a very pleasant day sharing when Makoto is already heading home on the way he meets Ario, who is wrapped in the mat. 
They go home together and Makoto asks her some questions, but the girl refuses to answer him. When they get home, they both separate. When Makoto is in her room, her aunt Meme enters. They start talking and she proposes to play a game. Makoto is left wondering what it could be, to which Meme takes out a pack of cards and tells him what they will play. After several rounds, Makoto fails to win a single one. She invites him to sit next to her and tells him in her ear not to worry too much about Aerio. They continue talking for a while about everything that happened and even Meme doesn't remember when she was pregnant with Aerio in the end. Meme proposes they sleep there together to which Makoto refuses and takes her out of the room. They say goodbye while Meme keeps insisting and when Makoto is left alone and thinks that she is already in her room, she throws herself and starts to smell the pillow that Meme had. At that moment, she comes in and starts teasing him about it, and he blushes a lot because it's a very embarrassing situation. The next day in class, Makoto only thinks about finding a way to help Ariel recover her memory and see that she is not an alien. He spends all day thinking about it and finally comes up with an idea with his bike and the E.T. movie. Makoto prepares the bike and gets Ariel off the mattress. He invites her to get on the basket, and when she does, they set off together. Makoto struggles pedaling until he comes to a raise. He plans to drop down there moderately so the girl will see that she can't fly and come to her senses. But when she does, they grab a lot of acceleration. They lose their brakes and even try to brake with their feet to no avail. They approach the end of the road and with that momentum, they take a kind of ramp and are thrown into the water. Because of the momentum, they seem to fly, but they soon fall into the water and even the bike sinks into the water. Both get out of the water and begin to talk about becoming friends. Makoto promises her that he will help her in everything he can, which makes the girl get excited and even cry a little. Ariel accepts the idea and they end up formally introducing themselves to each other since they had not done so before. Makoto now explains something about points in school and how they can help him in his life forever, remembers several things he has done in some sports, and appears in bed while drawing with a broken arm. When they fell off the bike into the water, Makoto fractured his arm as it fell on him. Getting out of there cost them a bit, and when they made it, they went to the hospital where Makoto is now in a cast on his arm. In his room is Meme who talks to him about who could have been Irio's father and other things. She tries to kiss him, but he refuses and pushes her away. After that, he stays alone in bed complaining that he feels itchy in his arm, but he can't scratch it, and Ryuko enters and they start to talk about what happened, so Makoto realizes that they have already found out what he did with the bicycle. After talking for a while, Mekawa, the girl with short hair, comes in dressed in an eggplant costume, which seems a little strange to the boys, but they don't give it much importance. Between the three of them, they start talking, and a little jealous Ryuko asks her how they know each other if they don't talk in class. To annoy her, Mekawa tells her that they have spent a night together, which makes Makoto alarm and starts to say that it's not true. Ryuko gets very jealous and starts questioning them about it. In the end, Ryuko gets so upset that she runs out of the room. Mekawa sits down next to Makoto and takes off her disguise. She asks him the reason why the other girl reacts like that, hinting that she likes him. Ryuko opens the door and denies that but leaves again. They continue talking and after a while, Ryuko enters again and pulls the other girl away from Makoto. They continue their conversation. After a few weeks Makoto is discharged, he leaves looking around the place and thinking about everything that has happened. When he arrives home, he sees a note that tells him to eat something in the fridge. When he opens it, he sees Meme in there and gets scared. She comes out of there and starts joking with him. Meme is very happy that Makoto is already there, since she compared the hospital to prison. To celebrate, she tells him that they will go for lunch, so Makoto goes upstairs to get Ariel. When he enters the room, he sees that she is wrapped in the mat and gets a little nervous. They talk about everything that happened and agree that now they will be best friends by treating each other. After the conversation, the girl takes off the mattress, and they proceed to leave. When they leave, they see Meme with a single bicycle and say that they will go there. Makoto is surprised, but then mounts Ariel in the basket and behind him rides Meme who hugs him by the waist, and in that way, they proceed to go to eat. In a restaurant, Makoa comes out with a food costume, he goes out to make propaganda, and at that moment, he sees a in the sky, which makes him curious. Makoto takes Ario to a place and she thanks him when he brings her back for taking her to buy something. When they enter the house, they see Meme wrapped in a mat. When she hears him arrive, she gets up and starts spinning around. She says she wishes she could stop time as she is turning 40. Ario gives her a gift, which she thanks and they agree that they have to celebrate her birthday too. Despite the noisy atmosphere, Makoto thinks it's fun. In class, Makoto is talking to Ryuko and asks her to go with him to look for something. The girl is very excited and accepts. But when she asks what it is and learns that it is looking for a gift for Ario, she changes her mind and says that she remembers that she has other things to do. Makoto asks her why she hates the girl, but she tells him that she doesn't hate her and dodges the topic. Later, Makoto meets Meikawa and gives him an idea of who he can ask for help. Then he goes to a store where Meikawa gives him a plate of food as a gift, and they go out and see a 
coming out again and the girl informs him that it is an old man who launches them. Makoto goes home and when he opens the door, he is greeted with great intensity by the two girls. He receives a call from his parents, but Meme stays talking to them so Makoto goes to Irio's room to give him the gift. While there, he takes the mattress from her and gives her the gift. She is very excited and thanks him. After talking a little, she informs him that she wants to reintegrate into society and wants to work. Days later, Makoto goes with her on the bike to cut her hair and begins to achieve that. They arrive at the hairdresser and a girl begins to cut Yurio's hair. She asks her if the guy is her boyfriend so she gets embarrassed and says that he is just her cousin. The woman recognizes him and when she finishes, Makoto and Ariel leave for the job interview. Ariel didn't do very well at the interview as she had gained a reputation for walking with a mattress and being weird. She became very sad, but Makoto was there with her so he started to cheer her up. He put her on the bike and took her out to eat, assuring her that she would find something as they were just starting. When they get home, she runs happily to her room. Makoto goes to the living room where Meme is, and they start talking about how hard it might be for Ario to find a job. But Meme gives him an idea. Then she starts to joke with him, and Irio enters. Between the two of them, they start to play while Makoto watches them having a little fun. Another day, when it is raining a little, Makoto takes Ario to the work that Meme told her. They use an umbrella, and they go on the bike. When they get to a store, they see that it is alone. Then they get to a room, they see an old lady sleeping, and she wakes up. She starts talking to them. She recognizes Irio, but not Makoto. When they introduce themselves, she says she knows his father, and after a talk, the old woman accepts Ario to work there. Ryukoto finds herself thinking about Makoto and how he has helped her not to feel lonely and realizing that she can't live without him. When she gets out of class, she meets another girl. She asks him if he has a girlfriend, to which he gets very nervous and denies it. Then they both leave on the bike and arrive at the grandmother's store. When they enter, they realize that Irio is there and they greet each other. These girls now eat outside the store and the other one tells Ryuko that they can't keep coming to the store since Irio is working. The girls talk about it until they leave. Later, Ryuko is outside the store while it's raining waiting to see Makoto at that. She notices that two more people are also being around. One of them stands behind her and scares her. It's Meme. But she introduces herself with a fake name. They talk until Ryuko decides to enter the store where she starts talking to Makoto and Irio takes care of her shopping. Then they go and see the old woman who is lying down. Then, when Ryuko leaves, she warns Makoto in good way that he might be taken away from the group if they see him for too long with Ario. When they finish talking, they say goodbye. Makoto is now drinking tea with the old woman while Irio is rolled up on a mattress in the tent. He feels uneasy about what Ryuko told him, so he asks the old woman about it. She says some wise words to him, and at the end tells him that he can live without friends. This Makoto understands, so he is a little calmer. Some days later, Makoto is having lunch with Meikawa, and among several things they talk about, they talk about Irio. And finally, they agree to go to Makoto's house. After a while, Ryuko enters and asks her what they will do. Meikawa, to annoy her, tells her that they will go to the boy's house and they will do a little bit of everything. When Ryuko hears that, she is very surprised and goes out screaming. When she calms down, she says that she has nothing to do in the afternoon, so she decides to accompany them to the boy's house. When they arrive at the house, Ryuko and Meikawa are the first to enter, then Makoto and Irio enter. When they get to Irio's room, they start to joke a little and then go to Makoto's room. Both girls start to snoop around the room as if they were looking for something. Everyone starts talking and as Ario catches Makoto's attention, Ryuko tries to get her back because she feels jealous. In the end, Meme arrives and Makoto's friends show up and say that they are leaving. Mikawa whispers something in Meme's ear, so she changes her mind and says that she will go out again. She also tells her to take advantage of cooking and tells Ryuko to cook for her boyfriend. As Makoto is the only boy there, he blushes and so does Ryuko. Meme now leaves with Meikawa, and Irio is left looking at the two blushing boys. Meikawa is working in the restaurant dressed for lunch. She finds some soda bottles with a note on them. She picks them up and that seems very suspicious to her. She takes them inside and when she tells the other girl who cooks, she is not alarmed and rather tells her to keep them and then they will take them. Meikawa is still puzzled and goes out thinking about it while she sees another she is now eating with Makoto while they have a conversation. She thinks of asking the boy to help her investigate the and the soda. But when she is about to tell him, she stops and thinks it is a bad idea. She warns that she has to go, and then she does it. When Makoto finishes work for the day, she sits outside to eat, and her partner approaches her, and they start talking, then they say goodbye, and the girl goes off alone to investigate. Suddenly, she arrives at a place where a man is launching homemade meals. They talk, and he says he is a fan of the girl, so he leaves her the soda bottles. The man finally asks for help to make the and offers to pay him well, and Meiko agrees to do it. At Makoto's house, he is with Ario and Ryuko. The three of them pass each other a cup of tea and fight for someone to keep it. At that moment, Meiko enters in a scientist costume, explains what happened, and asks the boys for help to make the with the bottles. They accept and begin to follow the girls' instructions on how to do it. 
Aerio has a hard time making them, in the end, he succeeds, they all finish their rounds, which are very well done. And after that, they go to the kitchen and start a competition about who cooks better. Everyone makes a different dish, and in the end, they eat it all and are grateful. While they are talking, they realize that it is very late. Aerio tells Mako that she can't leave so late and invites her to stay, the girl accepts, but Ryuko is surprised and asks if she can stay too. Makoto gets a little nervous, but in the end, they all agree so both girls stay. Makoto goes out to the courtyard at night and stares at the sky as she hears something. Ryuko also appears and they start talking, they touch the subject of Irio and Makoto tells him that it doesn't matter if the school people push him away, but you won't leave Irio alone. The girl tells him that she will be on his side wherever he chooses. At the end, they say goodbye and each one goes to their respective rooms. The next day, the four go to the beach with the rats, and there they meet the man who ordered them to Makoa. He tells them to get ready to do the test, so the boys start to do it. Meem is in her room and rolls it on a mattress, just like her daughter. She says that is the only way to sleep that helps her not to feel any pain since she is 40 years old. She starts to remember the things she has done lately, like going to her grandmother at the store and convincing her to give Ario a job. She also remembers when she went and saw the launcher man named Yamamoto as he was a childhood friend. She remembered spending time with him launching saying it was to stop the aliens and they even told her he was single and at the end he asked her just like that to marry him. This reminded her of what had happened 28 years ago when she was still a child, she was playing with her friends and suddenly the grandmother brought up the subject of aliens and a boy told her how she could solve it. After hearing Yamamoto's proposal, she just ran away from there to her house and went to take a shower. A week later, she went to the store and ran into Ryuko. It was at that moment when she gave him the drink. She noticed that she was being watched by Yamamoto, whom she had been avoiding for a week, and she was also watching how Ariel was fulfilling her new job. She also remembered the encouraging words that the boy had said to her after so much time had passed, and looking at a date on her calendar, she realized that the next day would be the date she had been looking forward to for so long. That day, she went and talked to Yamamoto. She told him that she did not accept his marriage proposal, but she did so in a calm manner and gave the man time to tell her things. Yamamoto tells her how he fell in love with her and how time has passed and he still likes her. They continue to talk about it, and in the end, they remain good friends and plan the That night, when he arrived at the house, Makoto's friends were there and he went out with Mikawa to continue the One day before the actual day, Meme went out to her grandmother's house at night, and while she was there with her, she proposed to go to the beach to her grandmother. It seemed a stupid proposal since she is very old and she's waiting to be taken away by aliens. Despite her negativity, Mi manages to make her accept thanks to her insistence, so they agree to go to the beach together the next day. The next day, Mim takes Grandma to the beach and sits her down to watch the Yamamoto, Makoto, and the girls prepare everything and start launching the When they launch the last one, they pretend that something so Grandma is surprised and Mim asks her if she is feeling better. She says yes and gets up from her chair. Grandma stands admiring what just happened and tells her granddaughter that she is better. Mim informs her that she still has a life ahead of her so Grandma accepts, but says that when Ario she will be in charge of the store. They begin to laugh and Meme invites her to go aside to which the old woman accepts to continue spending time with her. In the classroom is Makoto and in front of him sits Ryuko. They exchange phone numbers and pass a message to confirm, and at that, Mako appears and begins to talk to them. He jokes to Ryuko and Ryuko gets a little defensive. She stands on Makoto's table, and while talking, she loses her balance and falls. Makoto and Ryuko ride off together again on their bikes and talk about some things. When they get to where they part ways, they agree to send each other many messages, and then they bid each other a fond farewell, planning to have a fun summer vacation. When Makoto arrives home, he is greeted by his aunt with much excitement. She starts to mention some strange plans to him to which Makoto refuses and goes to put his bike away. When he is in his room, he receives a message from Meikala and immediately gets a call from this girl. When he answers, they start talking and she proposes for him to join the local baseball team. After discussing the advantages, Makoto eventually agrees to do it, then he leaves and sees Ario doing some things on the floor and is surprised to see that she does not have her mattress. He asks her what she is doing to which she shows him a telescope and a notebook that she uses as a logbook. Then she tells him to join and he agrees. Then Makoto goes to one of the baseball practices and meets Mekoa. They talk until it's Makoto's turn. When the game ends, they continue talking and he receives a message from Ryuko. Then they continue the conversation, and they are joined by a student who plays there with them and is the captain. When the chat ends, the captain leaves and so does Makoto and her friend. When he gets home, he sees that Irio is doing some kind of exercise with his hands while singing. She asks him what he is doing, so he explains that he joined the baseball team. She is curious. But when he offers her to join, she is afraid and leaves to continue doing what she did before. When Makoto enters the house, he sees his aunt resting on the floor. They talk a bit about a contest that is going to happen soon. Then when he goes to bed, Ario arrives rolled up on the mattress and asks him if they are going to see the stars to which he agrees and they go out with a telescope to see the constellations. 
They enjoy what they are doing and suddenly Irio tells him that she wants to practice baseball to which Makoto is surprised and says that she will ask Meme's permission and Meme then agrees to let her play. The next day Makoto goes with the girl to practice and the team welcomes her. They start practicing and notice that there is someone in a space suit so they say it's a cosplay. They are still there and Ryuko arrives and gets jealous seeing Makoto surrounded by all the girls. But then she calms down and goes to practice basketball. When it's Irio's turn to bat, she gives him a tremendous hit and the ball goes up. It falls on the helmet of the one in the space suit and he f***s while Irio takes the opportunity to make the run. Then everyone goes out to attend to the spacesuit. and when he comes back to his senses he is surprised to see Irio and everyone stares at him. The spacesuit mumbles some strange things that no one understands but then he recovers and the game continues. When it's the spacesuit's turn to bat, Makoto talks to the team captain and he strikes out and doesn't bat once. As Makoto's team loses the game, it's their turn to clean up the field. When Makawa arrives in disguise, she talks to Makoto, and while she is doing so, Aria runs away scared because she's being f***ed by the one who is still wearing the spacesuit. Makoto gets between the two and pushes the one in the suit away from her cousin. They have a long conversation about who she is since she has a woman's voice. She claims to be an alien and other things. When they separate, Makoto sits down and begins to talk by message with Ryuko. They agree to meet a little later, and then he leaves on the bike with Aria riding in the basket, and they go talking about what has happened and about aliens. At night, Makoto is in the courtyard with Aria while they look at the constellations with the telescope. She gets a little alarmed, and then they see the one with the spacesuit trying to hide. Aria leaves, and Makoto is left talking to the one in the spacesuit. She claims to be an alien and talks about these things. Aria arrives wrapped to the mattress and confronts the girl with it. The two begin to struggle until she manages to remove the helmet and the girl's head is exposed. She gets upset and starts to say that this is dangerous for her because she is an alien. They continue talking until she introduces herself as Yashiro. Makoto finds it so strange that she gets into it with Aria and leaves the girl with white hair outside. When Makoto goes to bed, she gets a call from Ryuko, and they start talking about some things. Among what they talk about, the girl says that if she cheers her up in one of the games, they can go to the festival together, and they keep talking about it. The next day, Makoto wakes up and sees Aria practicing in the courtyard, and when he gets to the table, he sees that there is meme together with the white-haired girl, Yashiro. They talk, and Makoto thinks it's a bad idea to let her in and ask the girl if she has stopped f***ing her cousin, to which she says yes for now. When Meme leaves, Makoto tells her that it is not a good idea, but she tells him that this is a sign of kindness. Then when they leave, Yashiro says goodbye to Meme in a strange way and Makoto agrees to take her home. They go and drop Irio off at Grandma's store to work, then they say goodbye to her and Yashiro starts to leave Makoto to where he says his house is, but they arrive at a swimming pool. Yashiro enters and then invites Makoto, he refuses, but she throws water at him, which makes him jump the fence and enter the pool to play with her. Then they leave, and when they arrive at a little house, she lies down and says she will be fine there, so they say goodbye. Makoto goes and looks for Irio and starts talking to her about the pool since he is still wet, so he promises to take her there at some point, and they proceed to go inside so he can greet Grandma. Makoto remembers that when he was a child he liked soccer, but he was never good at it, so they didn't let him play, since then he likes to try things that he is good at. He thinks that while he is in the courtyard with Aria looking at the cloudy sky, Makoto lies down in his room and says he is very bored because everyone is busy and he is the only one who has nothing to do, then he gets up and gets ready to leave on his bike. On the way, he meets Mekawa. She invites him to eat at her house but asks him to take her in the bicycle basket. He accepts, and so they both leave on the bicycle. Being there at her house, Mekawa starts cooking. Makoto hears something in the yard and when he comes out, it is Yashiro trying to steal some tomatoes since he is hungry. Makoto enters and asks Mekawa for them, without telling him what is going on. He gives them to the girl who eats them and leaves there very grateful. Then when they sit down to eat, Makoto praises the tasty dish the girl cooked. Later they play video games and when they have done enough, Makoto leaves and she invites him to come back another time, but without the other girls. When Makoto arrives home, he receives a call from Ryuko. They talk a lot about what has happened and about the sport. Suddenly, Irio enters Makoto's room with something in her hand, which makes him remain silent during the call. Ario invites him to look at the stars. When Ryuko realizes that he is with the cousin, she gets jealous, but in the end, she downloads the phone to her and the call ends. The next day, Makoto goes to watch Ryuko's game. When he arrives, the girl is very happy and her friends start teasing her about him being her boyfriend. Then when the game starts, he goes and sits next to Yashiro, who is there in his space suit. He takes off her helmet and starts talking to her. Two of the baseball players arrive and join them. At the game, it is seen that Ryuko lacks a bit of training, but Yashiro tells her that she has a lot of potential. When the girl gets an important pitch, Yashiro tells Makoto to do something to help her. Makoto keeps thinking, and when he comes up with something, he stands up. He starts cheering for the girl, and when he finishes his cheering words, Ryuko feels very good, and when she makes the shot, she makes a basket, so Makoto feels very good about it too. 
Makabano is in a river looking for a ball some distance away is Ariel and she looks at him and she says that her cousin is shining and she feels some envy for it. Once at home, Makoto is with Ariel in the courtyard looking at the stars, he receives a call from Meikala and she asks him if he will attend the game tomorrow. He confirms that both he and Ariel will go, so they agree to meet the next day. Meanwhile, Makoto continues to look at the stars and planets with his cousin. The next day, these two get up and together with me and begin to do some kind of warm-up in the courtyard while singing a song to help them keep the rhythm. Later, Makoto goes with Ario to the stadium where the baseball game will be. When they arrive there is Ryuko. They greet each other and Makoto asks her the reason why she is there. She states that she came to support him and after saying something corny, she blushes and grieves a lot. At that moment, Mekawa arrives wearing a fish costume. Between them, they start talking about that costume and about the game that will start soon. While they are still talking there, the surprise that they had talked about arrives. It turns out that Meme joins the team and not exactly as a player, but she joins as the main trainer. Everyone is completely surprised, especially Makoto and Ario. As she is the new coach, Mekawa approaches her and says that the current problem of the team is due to a lack of pitchers. She immediately says that she will solve it and appoints her daughter Ario as the team's pitcher. This leaves Makoto even more surprised since he is left on the bench. He asks his aunt the reason for not putting him to play, to which she answers that she has a mission for him. To go to look for Mekawa's father, who is the coach, he is surprised, but he does not accept. Meme begins to blame him by telling him what he did with the pillow, so he accepts. When Makoto leaves, he sees that Irio is getting good results. While he is riding his bike on the road, he thinks about what he could have achieved with soccer or not. Makoto manages to find the coach who is Mekawa's father. He encourages him to return and finally manages to convince him so he returns with him both on the bike. When they arrive, everyone is happy about what Makoto did and it is his turn to bat. To encourage him, Ryuko approaches him and with a strong voice encourages him and tells him that he can do it. Makoto takes the bat and gets ready. When the ball is thrown to him, he concentrates hard and manages to hit a good hit that makes the ball rise high. Makoto starts to run but it seems that the ball can be caught by someone from the other team. Yashiro takes off his helmet and stares at it. Suddenly, there's a gust of wind that gives momentum to Makoto, and they see that the ball went out of the field achieving a home run and scoring a run for his team. Everyone begins to celebrate and congratulate Makoto. The coach asks him about his relationship with Mekoa, but he does not think much. Meem congratulates Makoto and kisses him on the cheek, and then everyone continues with the celebration. On the other hand, Yashiro is in a field nearby watching them without his spacesuit. Makoto is now in his room. Ario, who is there rolled up on the mattress, tells him that he promised to do something about the festival, so he leaves. Makoto arrives at the festival that begins in the afternoon. There he starts to wait for Ryuko. When she arrives, they start to walk and talk among all those colors and good smells that abound the festival. Makoto says that he will invite her to eat something to celebrate his basketball score. The girl accepts and asks him for a snack that he buys her. While she eats it, they both talk, she offers him some, but Makoto gets a little nervous and doesn't accept. She finishes eating it and they continue walking through the festival. Now Ryuko says it's her turn to buy something for her home run from the previous match as she tells Makoto to pick something and Makoto accepts and they go to a food stall and Makoa is working there, who says he helps in his family business. Makoto places the order for the food and gives her an extra one to take to a secret they have. Ryuko wants to know what it is, but Makoto doesn't tell her. They say goodbye to Meikawa and keep walking. Suddenly, Makoto says she has to leave, so Ryuko says it's okay to play tough. But in the end, she gets sad and leaves. Makoto leaves there and arrives at a place where Irio is waiting for him. Irio gives him the extra food that Meikawa gave him and tells him that she sent it to him. They sit down to eat and look at the stars while they talk. Suddenly, Irio gets up surprised, saying that she saw one that Makoto also gets up to see. When she looks at the sky, she notices that it is a shower of shooting stars, so they are surprised and admire that phenomenon. Suddenly, she appears Yashiro. She starts to say again that she has powers, and she tells Makoto that she will prove it. So she tells the boy to get out of there running backward. Makoto does it a little incredulously, but when he moves away from there, she makes a movement with her hand and something falls from the sky, just where he had been standing. The it makes Makoto fall and hurts his arm a little. Makoto gets up surprised and sees that Yashiro has disappeared. He is completely confused, asking himself questions about it and thinking that he did not believe the girl and she saved him. Days and weeks go by and Makoto only thinks about it, and the possibilities that exist, and the many things about it to which there is no answer. He has a call from Makoa, who tells him that his father wants him to join the team. He says he will think about it, since he is a little discouraged. When he leaves and sees Aria with a telescope and she invites him to see the stars together again, he is encouraged and sends a message to Makoa confirming that he will join. In the end, Makoto is left sharing a pleasant evening stargazing with his cousin Ariel.